Yeah, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome back to the engine house. And uh, as uh, you can see, it's kind of a bit of a disaster down here right at the moment. Um, first thing I want to point out is we uh, took up the carpet down here. Uh, probably should have done it before I started the layout, but uh, I thought maybe it would be okay. Uh, it just got to the point of musty, 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 uh, stink. So we took it up, and in the process of moving the dresser, you can see also the dresser that was here, it fell apart. <laughs> so uh, I have the drawers. I set up a drawer thing there. I am not a furniture builder, but uh, I put some drawers, the four small drawers there, and I now have a place for the transformer. This will eventually um, <clears throat> be on a bit of a lazy Susan. It'll so I can swing it out of the way because there is the lever here for the whistle. But as you can see, and I believe it's in another video that I posted, this is a replacement piece. Uh, that somebody made and it's actually smaller than the original so it fits loosely in there I'm gonna be taking this apart and finding a shim to put around this to tighten it up and anyway this will be on somewhat of a lazy Susan so I can spin it out of the way so the knob that's that's handle that sticks out here won't get broken and uh, anyway so in the meantime uh, I got these two little shelf units he uh, things here and they're small they're tiny uh, they really aren't gonna do what I want them to do but I'm gonna put something in between them to hold as many of these as possible something similar to that only bigger and it'll also give me more room and of course I moved the desk from here to here uh, I like it better here because I have access now to everything here. I like that. Now, uh, one of the things is I've kind of stalled a bit here again because of the disaster that is. Um, that's going to eventually uh, be covered with screen, which is here. And I'm going to do... Uh, either sculpt a mold plaster or just plain plaster of Paris on that to make it a mountain and there's going to be some stuff that's and come down to here and then we'll go from there and the reason of course I went with sculpt a mold is because uh, plaster of Paris would have been a little smooth I wanted rough I wanted something a little rougher with some texture to it and I'm going to continue it going over there um, and again, I'm, I, I may or may not, I may take that out. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but I it's, will have, if I keep it, it's going to be screened and it's going to have sculpt a mold and it's going to have some shelves, a little shelf thing there and come down to here and uh, it'll be something. We'll see what, what happens. We'll see what I do with that um, as time goes on. In the meantime, uh, you know, life kind of gets in the way and things have been slowed down. Um, trying to get a few things done before winter kind of sets in, uh, even though it is only September. And I have to finish this stuff. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get kind of back into working on some of the stuff here in the shop. Something I really enjoy doing. Uh, not that I don't enjoy working on a layout, but it can be a bit time-consuming and stressful uh, figuring out what you want, how to do it, um, and making plans and doing one step, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. Uh, so, um, you know, the next step is, of course, that mountain I'm going to paint back there, which is why the large picture that was there is gone there's going to be green rolling hills there, and then, of course, sky above it um, with the pictures. I'm not removing the pictures, and I'll kind of get that out of the light a bit. I'm not going to remove the pictures. Uh, I, I have no place else to hang them. This over here will be um, skyline. It'll be painted here. I'll have flats 
industrial or apartment building flats there and again sky with the pictures same over here this not a clue what i'm doing with it and that's going to stay as it is and there'll probably be something around here um so that's kind of where we're at right now um it's going to be kind of a long term not going to rush kind of thing but anyway one of the things i'm going to do today is we're gonna tear into this tender right here um i will put everybody on a tripod we have a little beethoven going on today uh anyway we're gonna do this is you anybody familiar with these this is the whistle the tender is not supposed to whistle until you push that. I have this plugged in right now. We'll give it a little power. Oh. And, oh, the, uh, one second. The uh, thing came disconnected down here. Would you look at that? There we are. Get this back on track there we are hey i'm good i did that with one hand anyway it's supposed to whistle when you push this but we'll give it some power somewhere in the move something shorted out this is one that i've taken apart and cleaned so we're going to take it apart again and we're going to see where the problem is we're going to look this all over you can see i have new wires in here um it has been cleaned it has been rewired so we're gonna go from there and if you give me a few let me there we go unplug that i will put uh this on a tripod and we'll tear into this be back in a couple minutes okay let's see if we can figure out what this thing is doing Reading eyeballs, we'll get some of this out of the way here. And uh, the, uh, there we go. And normally I'd have a little something here to put the uh, bits and bobs in, but uh, everything is kind of very disorderly this week. I, uh, I hope to have something thrown together for the uh, drawers here pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> whoops, oh god, we don't want to lose that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, I think I might see That is there. This. Let's see what we have here. It would not be here. It would be, oh, there's a wire disconnected right there. Um, let's see. This might be a simple fix. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? I need this, and we will get this heated up a bit, and since I changed, I flipped this uh, power strip around, and the uh, things close on their own. Okay. What I need to do is, while we're waiting for that to heat up, I need to get a sponge with some water on it, and we're going to re-solder that. We're going to cover that up and put a piece of black tape on it, and maybe uh, a piece over here. You can see we will... Uh, 
do our best. I think the problem might have been here. This was kind of touching here, and it might have been jumping across. That I don't think is the problem. But uh, this is old here. This is the old cloth cupboard. It does not take much. So we may, I may just take some, uh, some electrical tape in a certain couple of areas and uh, fix that. In the meantime, we're going to wait till that heats up. And I need a sponge, damp sponge here. And then we'll go from there. We'll be back shortly with that. Okay, well, we got it apart here. Uh, the only, and I've got it kind of in there, the only sponge I could find. I don't know what happened to the sponge that I had for when I soldered, but it is missing. Uh, we are going to see. I'm going to get a little bit of flux on this and uh, clean it up and help it a little bit. We're going to here a little bit of flux. There we go. And let's see if I can actually make this work today. I am not a soldering guy. Um, we are going to see if we can't I think I may want a heat sink on this other wire. It's the biggest problem with soldering wires and the heat wants to run down. It takes twice as long to get anything done. Okay, let's see. Anyway, I'm hoping to have things back in somewhat of an order real soon here. I don't know if I've soldered that or made a bigger mess. see what that does. We'll give that a second. Again, I learned how to solder way back in the 80s on Mark 46 torpedoes. Wasn't done that often, so it's not something I do. Okay, that looks like it might hold this time. Now, I'm going to get some electrical tape. Bear with me a moment. I should have probably grabbed that before. I started this and I have to figure out where exactly I put it. Um, everything is, as you can tell, very disorganized down here today. Um, is it in this drawer? Should have looked there first. Whoops. I should have looked there first. Okay. <laughs> I'm more disorganized than normal here lately. Again, uh, life is kind of crazy uh, these days with uh, dogs and cats and we have an injured dog. Our uh, 
Shakoba is appears to be having problems with one of her legs. She's only she'll be four years old next month, and uh, she, she's too young for hip dysplasia, but. It's hip dysplasia is a form of arthritis. So it is a possibility that uh, she might have a touch of arthritis. Um, we have an appointment for her at the vet. Um, next month, sadly, around here, it is almost impossible to get your dog scene this far into the north country in Maine uh, they claim that there's not enough work for a vet but every vet we've talked to is no longer taking new patients because they have too many so we have uh we're on a waiting list to get her in next month to get her hip checked out. In the meantime, we have been uh, doing what we can to make her comfortable and try to keep her, uh, when they're all out together, all three of our dogs, the uh, St. Bernard, they play. And our St. Bernard can be a bit aggressive when she plays. We think maybe it's just an injury, but not knowing for sure, we don't want to have her suffering with uh, something if we can get it taken care of. Okay, when I get my layout set up the way I want it, um, the wires, they won't be solid wires for starters, but they'll be uh, soldered to the track rather than with the, um, the way they are currently. Let's see, there we are. Okay. Turn the forward on. Let's see if maybe I did some good here. Oh, look at that. Did such good that we have nothing working at the moment. Is that hooked up? Yes, it appears to be hooked up. Where do we have a problem here? Hmm. That is good. Isn't that interesting? Let's see. Is that? It does appear to be okay. Those are fine. Those are fine. Hmm. This may, uh, Take a little more digging into. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. Okay, I am going to have to dig into that a little further see just what is going on here. Um, it was working and now it is not. And I believe maybe somewhere I might have inadvertently done something in my soldering. I believe I just found the problem. Well, uh, 
one of the things I figured out here was it was not the soldering. It was this connector was part of my problem a minute ago why it wouldn't work. But I think these things were probably frustrating in the 40s and 50s as well. So anyway, we still have an issue here. And I was not going to subject you to any more of my uh, bit of insanity here trying to figure out what was wrong. So I shut the video off and now we're restarting. But if I hold that, we still have a problem. This one, this is one of my favorites right here. Besides the uh, 1947 Hudson Dreyfus, well, the Hudson Dreyfus 46 and 47, this came off of my uh, uh, 686, this tender. Anyway, if we hold that, this one put power to, and it does what it's supposed to do. So, be that as it may, we are going to turn down Beethoven a couple of notches here. I restarted it while I was doing other things. And I had to take a short break. So, my horrendous soldering skills aside, uh, we're going to take this one apart since they are the innards are very similar and see if we can't figure out what is going on. I cannot see something. These are very simple, okay? Power comes in here. It's always going to here as long as the rollers are touching the center track. Um, or at least it is uh, supposed to be that way. Now it's coming from here to here and from here, this other brush to here and then from to here. So barring anything obvious, which I don't see, I'm not sure what's going on here, okay? Um, this one works like it should, this one does not. So we're going to take this one apart. And speaking of which, I said I needed a little something to put screws in so I don't lose them. That's normally what I put water in when I'm painting, but it's what I grab. Everything, again, is everywhere today, and I have to uh, figure out, put stuff, re-straighten, and rearrange and a few other things and as you can see it looks like I've got a little moisture on the wheels on this one I'm gonna have to go through and uh, clean these up again um, this basement is kind of damp we have a uh, dehumidifier down here and it just recently quit working so anyway this one is As it should be this is exactly the same okay as you can see um, power coming in wired to here wired to here wire from here to here yep yeah, wire from here to here yep yeah. um, and then from here to here uh, everything looks good the question is, why is this one working as it should and this one not? Let me uh, put this on here and hold that and see. right away is it's hard to see on the video uh, but this piece right right here when you push the uh, button this comes up and makes contact okay and as you let it go on this one it is not doing that that piece is pretty much stationary it is not moving a bit 
and I'm not 100% sure why. Let me see. I have a flashlight over here somewhere. Um, question is, is where? Okay, let's see if I can figure out what is going on here. That one appears to be think we might have found a bit of the problem here, maybe. We'll see. Uh, it appears we have a piece shorting where it should not be. So we'll see if maybe spreading these out a little bit, pushing that down where it belongs. This appears to be that one. Okay. Let's see if maybe that didn't didn't help as I dropped the flashlight on the floor. problem. I had this was touching where it should not have been right here. This was touching. It should only come up and touch when there's power going to it as it was. It was touching this other plate. Uh, this smaller one here, right here, was bent and was making contact with the plate above it. And that's what was causing it to uh, not stop whistling. So what I need to do is probably take this off, mess with that a little bit more, which I'll do here after a bit. Um, make a couple of adjustments here to see to it that that does not make contact until it is supposed to. Okay, but I do believe that might have fixed the problem. Um, we'll see. Yep. That appears to have done it. So, okay. <clears throat> that is, I'm going to call that fixed. And again, I will probably take this apart, uh, especially if it does it again. This stuff is 1950s, okay? Uh, I could probably find replacements for that, but until it needs it, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I don't really want to break it. It's working. Probably what happened in the move, it was laying in a certain way, and it got pressure on it and was making contact. So we're going to put that back together. We're going to put this other one back together. Uh, and again... Um, as time goes on here, I will continue working on the layout itself, but one of the things I really enjoy is doing this kind of stuff. It really, uh, it's to me, it's fun getting this stuff working. 1950s, 1940s. Um, again, I have two Dreyfus Hudson's over here, version A, version B, and I have the one, uh, version C, that I gave to my grandson that... Uh, we need to get cleaned up and working. And the tenders on both the A version and B version need to be 
taken, stripped down, and repainted with new lettering on it. That's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy. That's kind of the reason I started the channel. Um, getting wrapped up in the in the uh, layout, it's fun to me uh, and, and to a, to a point. Uh, I do enjoy it. I do want to lay out. I want to. I mean, I don't not doing this just for you know the hell of it. I'm doing it because I want to have trains running on a layout. But uh, that is very, very time consuming, as anybody who has started a layout understands. Um, you get bogged down, and it just seems like it's you know taking way too long. And things aren't moving like you want them to. So I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break to get back on that. Um, you know, it's good to have another. I, I was watching a Jason Jensen video the other day where he has uh, he has his HO layout, and then he has a. Um, I want to say Star Wars layout in a different scale in another part of his basement, I believe. And he said it's always good to you get burned out. It's always good to have another one to go to to take your mind off of the one and give you time to readjust, regroup, and then you come back to the other with a fresh set of eyes. And I think that's what I need to do. So our next couple of videos um, are going to be working on the version uh, A and, and B of the uh, Hudson's. Um, I need to find gunmetal gray spray paint, and you would not believe how many different versions there are out there. But the tenders are gunmetal gray. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also have to take them both apart and clean them. One of them, the version A, looks like it had been rewired already, so that may not need much. Version B is going to get taken apart, it's going to get cleaned up, um, and then I'll start working on the tenders. Uh, in a couple of weeks, my grandson will be here for a day or two. Um, so there will probably be a video with us working on one of his, uh, his either his Dreyfus or something. Um, so stand by for that. It'll happen here soon. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed, even though my soldering skills still stink. Uh, again, a skill not used is a skill you lose, and uh, that was the 1980s, the last time I had to solder anything, so I am not the greatest solderer in the world. Um, anybody who is better, I, I, I envy people that can do it in their sleep. I'm not one of those people. Uh, I'm going to get back to putting this stuff together. Um, as a matter of fact, I can do that right now while I'm sitting here talking. So if you enjoy my videos, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I'm always up for comments to see, you know, if you've got a layout going on or, you know, what, you, uh, what you're doing. Uh, if you have any thoughts on what I'm doing or why am I doing something a certain way, I'd be more than happy to answer questions. Uh, if you say, hey, have you tried uh, maybe doing this instead of that? Um, I'm open for that. Uh, somebody did make a suggestion on maybe shortening the intro, and uh, I agree. It, 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 it needs to be shortened a bit. Uh, I'm still kind of getting involved in this. Uh, my... Uh, lovely wife and editor, I do believe she shortened it for the last one that I just recent, well, the last one that I put out, the history one, which I haven't had as many uh, views on. Um, I don't know if I'll do another history one or not. That remains to be seen. I have some other things I thought about adding, for instance, the uh, history of Lionel, a brief history of Lionel. Um, you know, uh, the founder and uh, the uh, where it started, where it's going, and uh, you know, the hobby that we all enjoy. 
But uh, if I'm not getting a whole lot of interest in doing history stuff, I will drop it. I am a bit of a historian because, again, I am a writer and uh, I do enjoy history, why things are the way they are, and uh, I will be cleaning that up later today. Wow, those are that one's really stiff. Um, I may have to take that one apart altogether. That is really stiff. Hmm. Well, there's a way around that, a way to do that, and we will do it. I have uh, the means to do that. This will probably then, therefore, go into the pile of stuff that needs fixed. That will go into the shop shelf for a later, a later video or later repair. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you have any comments, uh, definitely, if you like it, like and subscribe. This is kind of trying to do this for some of the young, younger people getting into the hobby um, and maybe even some of us older folks that uh, don't have a lot of money. This is kind of, uh, you know, modeling on a budget here. I try to do things, try new things. So I hope you enjoyed this and that's it for now. Have a great day and bye for now.